not listening to me. I'm trying to explain it to you the best way I know how. It's not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. Well, I've been standing with you. I've been right here with you, Troy. I got a life, too. I get 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. Don't you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Don't you think I ever crossed my mind to want to know other men that I wanted to lay up somewhere and forget about my responsibilities? That I wanted someone to make me laugh so I could feel good? You're not the only one who's got wants and needs. But held on to you, Troy. I took all my feelings, my wants and needs and dreams, and I buried them inside you. I planted a seed and watched and prayed over. I planted myself inside you and waited to bloom. It didn't take me no 18 years to realize the soil was hard and rocky and it was never going to bloom. But I held on to you, Troy. I held you tighter. You was my husband. I owed you everything I had, every part of me I could find to give you. And upstairs in that bedroom with the darkness falling in on me, I gave everything I had to try to raise the doubt that you wasn't the finest man in the world. And wherever you was going, I was.